Hello everyone. It's time for a visit. Um, I, I've been busy and if I could tell you what I was busy doing, sounds like I haven't done anything. So I had company for a week. So that's why I missed last week. And I have been trying to film this video, I think for three weeks. So it's kind of outdated, but here I am. I've missed you guys, so I wanted to come on and show you something. Well, it's a sewing fail. Give Madeline a big smack. So this is ginormous. Um, where'd it go? I had it here. Russell, Russell. Okay. This is a free sewing pattern from Lacala, uh, 6056. I know I'm still down the Lacala loophole or rabbit hole, I guess you call it. So it is a zipper right here. It's just a shirt. It's a free men's pattern. And I thought it had possibilities. I thought it could be... Anyway, what you do is you punch your measurements of the person you're making it for into their program and it spits out a pattern. Now I'm beginning to think that I don't know how to read or something because <laughs> this was at least four sizes too big. Um, I was making it for my boyfriend. I thought at the last minute I would enter the uh, So Frugal. We're kind of matching. This was a uh, like a seersucker um, fabric that I had in my stash and obviously there wasn't enough. There probably would have been if I did the correct size. I don't know why I thought I would put denim on with it. Anyway, here's the collar. I think I'm going to quit because I've already taken it in one size and it needs to come in all over. It's just way too big. And there's a pocket on here. It has a zipper. I put a facing in there. You can barely see. Oh, I'm showing you a sneak peek of a shirt that I made. Um, anyway. It's a disaster. It's just way too big all over and I just no longer know what to do with it and I just don't even want to deal with it anymore. <laughs> so I would love to know if any of you have made this pattern because I just, I don't know. I just wash my hair and... It's all sticking out everywhere. So, yes, I did not have much luck with that. I'm quite disappointed because I spent a lot of time on it. Because you, for it to be free, you have to add in the seam allowance. Which, obviously, I did not need to do because it's just way too big. I'm just looking at my notes here. Um... So that's all I have to say about that pattern. It's just a disaster. So, uh, something, as I said in the comments, or in the title, I've been down the internet rabbit hole. As you do. You just, you just do. You look something up and then you're on this and you're on that. And oh, I waste so much time looking stuff up and doing research, trying to find the next newest thing or whatever. 
So I have this project I'm working on and I wanted some labels. Now I did order them. This is why I think that I don't know how to read or something because this is not what I wanted. So they just came yesterday. They're from the States, as you can see. I'll take one out. They're already starting to fray, which I'm not happy about. And I thought I ordered fold over labels. Now, these are just like a flat label. I like the font. I like uh, up closer. I like the font. I like the schooner represent Nova Scotia. And that's what they say is made in Nova Scotia. It's supposed to be on twill tape. Perhaps it is, but it looks more like grow grain ribbon to me. And I haven't even really taken them out and they're already fraying. So I'm not happy about that. And because I wanted a fold over label so I could attach it in the seam, that's not going to work now. So I'm not sure... And they weren't cheap either. They Anyway, I thought I'd try them. And they are lovely, but not what I ordered. So, and because it's an American company, what I wanted was, uh, I thought it was a Canadian company. I don't know what's wrong with me lately, but yeah, so I'm paying the exchange rate, custom fees, and then more postage because it's from another country. So it would be much better if I used a Canadian company because then I wouldn't have to pay all those extra fees. Yes, so... If anyone knows where you can order custom labels in Canada that do a nice job woven or printed, I would love to know because I am, if I go on the internet again and do that, I just spent hours doing that. So I just don't want to waste any more time looking. So I hope one of you out there can tell me where you get your custom labels or if you've ever ordered them from anyone, I would love to know. So, yes. Oh, I almost forgot. I did get some new patterns. Um, they weren't planned. Um, there's only one place nearby me that you can order patterns or that you can get patterns without ordering them. And they are, they're only McCall's. That's all they sell. So they were on sale and I thought, well, they were only 25% off. So they're still quite expensive compared to U.S. sales. Anyway, my, my sister was with me and she bought them for me. I wasn't planned. She just, so I guess this is my Easter present, um, which was very nice of her to do that. So I'll get a little closer. I don't know why I'm so far away. So this is McCall's 8263. These are all men's patterns. I really like this one. Well, maybe I'm too close now. It has a uh, Pintux. If I show you the line drawings, I don't think that's better. So we have, there's Pintux down the front and not long or short sleeve version. So it's like a camp style collar shirt and I quite fancy trying that. It looks like there's a stripe added in view C, 
perhaps there is. But yeah, either one of those would be a nice try. So I'm excited to try that. Um, this is another pattern that I would like to try. Is cargo pants. This is McCall's 8264. And that's shorts and pants. Although it's a little disappointing on the sh short one. There's no pockets on the side. They just have these big style patch pockets on the front, which is fine. So, and they have patch pockets on the back. So that one might be neat to try. I'm not crazy about view C, which is the one that he's wearing with the cuffs on the bottom. I don't think that I will try that one, but they also in the pants, they have a, uh, at the knees, they have darts. So, this might be a good one to try. So I'm quite, because both of those things are very fashionable at this time. Although I don't know if cargo pants ever really go at a style, but anyway. So, and this one is another shirt pattern. It also has a pin tuck detail on it. You can't see it very good in that picture. But this is McCall's 8352. I would like to try that one. It has a yoke at the front and the back. And it looks like it just has a camp style collar, like a lay flat collar, no stand. From the looks of that. So, what does the description say? There isn't one. That's interesting. So I guess it does have finished garment measurements of chest and waist. So that's handy. So we'll see. I'd like to try that. Both versions are quite nice. It's almost like a jacket style shirt with the pockets in the front. And yes. It's like for denim, cotton blends, and linen. I would probably try it at a denim or a plaid or something. Uh, and then this is the last one. There was four patterns. 8371. That's a nice style jacket. It's, uh, I like all the versions actually. But I would, I might try this closer to the fall. So, because I, my boyfriend would like a hunting jacket, and I thought this would be a good one to go buy in the picture here with all the pockets. We'll see. I may not put the, I don't know. I might just try it the way it is and line it. I'm not sure if it's supposed to be lined. Doesn't say. But you can still do that. So that is all I have for you today. Is my uh, sewing fail. So I'd love to know if anybody's tried the Lacala Free Men's Pattern. Um... They do have two. One's a button-up shirt, like a dress shirt style. And then this, I just thought that was different with the zipper. I thought it would be a good casual shirt. But I actually thought I could hack it into a jacket. Which is, that's what I always do. I see a pattern and I try and... I think, oh, this might be a good one. You could hack it into a bunch of different things. That's what I like about a pattern. 
when you can make a difference. Anyway, it's shirt 6056 on Lacala, so I'd love to know if anybody has made that, if they did it successfully, or if it was something that I did, which I think that it probably was. <laughs> I think I messed it up. And if anyone knows where to get custom labels in Canada or that they have ordered from and like them, love to know. All right. Take care, everyone. Talk to you soon. Bye.